Arizona officials are investigating. Hello? Sir? Can you please roll down your window? I'd like to ask you some questions. <laughs> There's no need to worry. You haven't done anything wrong. This is just a routine stop to keep the boss happy. I just need some simple things from you, like your license and registration. I hope I'm not stopping you on your way to anything important, but I have to do these things. Looks like you're just on your way to the shops anyway. <sighs> it's lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Feels like I haven't seen the sun in weeks. <laughs> So, about that driving license. Do you mind handing it over so I can give it a check? Thank you, sir. This will only take a second, then you can be on your way. Hmm. Do you mind telling me where you live, sir? Right. Can you name five streets within that area? I grew up around these parts, you see. I know this place pretty well. Hmm. Sir, we have a number D4 on the highway leading north. Permission to conduct execution of protocol A19. Roger. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the vehicle. Sir, you're under arrest for the possession of fake identification. My name is Officer Lyra Langley. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights I have just read to you? I'm now going to pat you down to search for any weapons that may be in your possession. Please cooperate as to make this process easier. I'm now going to place these handcuffs on you. Please place your hands behind your back. I must do this to ensure my safety and that you do not run away. You do not have any right to leave. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given as evidence. This way then. I'll need to take you down to the station where this will be confiscated and you'll likely be charged of upwards of a thousand dollars or in the worst case sent to county jail. I don't want to scare you but this is a very serious crime you've committed. I hope you're thinking up put your lawyer's number. <laughs> Perhaps try to remember your mum's. <laughs> right, in you get. station isn't too far away, so we'll get you down there and processed real quick. <sighs> I don't know how or why you have this, but I really despise people with fake IDs. The law is there to protect you and others. <sighs> Presuming you're either underage or have committed a vehicle crime in your past where your original license was revoked. Either way, you're posing a great risk to others. Do you ever think about the lives you could cost because of your stupidity? You didn't even look like a good one. This cheap crap is basically useless. The picture doesn't look like you, and you don't even know the address. Heck, I'm willing to bet your name isn't even Tyler. Look, kid, I'm telling you all this to help you. The life of crime isn't one you want to stay on. Really. If you'd seen how most of the people I picked up look now, you'd change your mind real quick. I'm just gonna warn you now. You know that things might be a bit intense in the station. 
look, I've arrested enough guys to know which ones are bad news and which ones aren't. You seem like a nice guy, so I'll be honest about what's about to happen. When we get in there, I'm going to confiscate your personal items, and then I'll get some pictures and fingerprints. And then we'll sit down and have a little chat, okay? Good. Looks like we're here now. Stay there and I'll come and open the door for you. Officer, this man has been arrested under suspicion of having fake identification. I'm going to process his arrest. Uh, no sir. I didn't pick up any donuts. I apologise. Asshole. <sighs> okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of things before we can begin the process. What's your full name? And remember what I said about being truthful. Right. Okay. And what's your date of birth? Mm -hmm. And your address? Mm. Well, thank you for telling me the truth this time. It makes things a lot easier. I see we already have you on our records of a previous minor crime. Since this one is a bit more serious, I'll need to take your pictures and fingerprints. Please follow me. Okay. Please just stand right there in front of the screen. Okay, so I'm going to need to take a picture of both of your profiles, as well as you standing facing forwards and backwards. So, for now, please face me, hands down at your side, and a relaxed expression on your face. Perfect. I'm just going to put this round your neck. It just says your name and date of arrest on it. Great. Now just stand still. Now turn to your right. And face backwards. And finally, your other side. Okay, you can take that off from around your neck now. I'll just take your fingerprints now. Please put your finger in the ink and then press your finger firmly on the corresponding box on this sheet of paper. Thank you, sir. Now, if you'll follow me, I'm going to take you to the questioning room just to get some more information from you. Right, so if you just sit in here for a moment, I'm going to get the paperwork sorted and I'll be back in a moment to talk to you. Can I get you a cup of coffee or a glass of water? Okay then, I'll be back in a moment. Have a good think about the consequences of lying while you wait. Hello. I apologise for making you wait so long. I brought you your water. Here. Do you mind if I record our conversation? Good. <coughs> this is Officer Lyra Langley. The date is the 4th of January 2023. The time is now 3.42pm. Would you please state your name for the record? Are you aware of the reason you have been put under police custody? That is correct. You are under suspicion of having possession of fake identification. Before we commence with the conversation, I would like to make you aware that you have the right to retain and instruct a legal counsel without delay. You have the right to telephone any lawyer that you wish. You also have the right to free legal advice from a legal aid lawyer. If you are charged with an offence, you can contact a legal aid plan for legal assistance. Do you understand? Do you wish to telephone a lawyer now? No? 
Well, if you're sure, that way we'll keep things simple. And with any luck, you'll just face a small fine. Okay. I'm going to ask you some basic information so that we have it on record. It's just a formality. What's your date of birth? What is your current address? Can you please state your mother and father's full names and their status? Where do they live? Mm -hmm. Are you close with them? Right. This information could prove useful in finding you in the future. That's the only reason we ask. Um, let's see. Are you currently employed? If so, where? Mm -hmm. Right. How long have you been doing that? Okay, thank you. Are you married or do you have a significant other? <laughs> I see. Now I'd like to get to the real question. Why were you in possession of a fake ID? I'd like you to be as truthful as possible. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Right. I see. So, to get this clear, you were in the possession of a fake driver's license because you'd lost your previous one and you didn't have time to get a new one before having to travel again. You purchased this one for cheap to be able to continue driving until you could get your new one? Sir, are you aware that there's a system in place that allows you to continue driving while waiting for your new license to be reissued to you? I see. So you did not have all the documents that you needed to apply for a new one, so you were in the process of gathering all the documents. Right, I understand. <sighs> Nevertheless, what you have done is still illegal and charges will be still pressed against you. Could you give me the name or any other contact information for the person who sold you this fake ID? Don't worry about your name, it won't be mentioned. <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> I see. Well, if you remember at any time, it would be most helpful if you could give us a phone and tell us. This person is breaking the law and endangering many people. Right, well, I suppose that's everything we need for you f for now. I'm going to have to put you in a holding cell for some amount of time until your bail is paid or until your information is processed and judged. This shouldn't take longer than a day or two. Then we'll see if you're required to go to court. Before I take you to the holding cell, I can give you a couple of minutes to contact a family member or a friend or even a lawyer if you've changed your mind. Unfortunately, I can only give you one call, so it may be best to call someone that you trust to get everything organised for your potential trial. Here, I'm going to take off your cuffs, um, just for a moment so that you may use your phone. But if there's any funny business, know that your charges will likely be more severe and I will have to use force on you. All done? Right. I hope that call was worth it, because you won't be getting another one. <sighs> if you'd like to now follow me, I'll take you to your cell. <sighs> I always feel bad looking up stupid kids in here. <laughs> Let's hope you get out before night time. If you have any questions, there will be a guard standing outside the cell that you can ask. I won't be there unfortunately, so this is where we part ways. I really hope I don't see you in here again. Just keep to yourself, and you'll be out of here soon. Farewell.